Praise the Lord, brothers and sisters. Welcome to Faith Ministries, where we walk by faith and not by sight. It is Monday, the 28th of August, 2023, and I am really thrilled to be doing something really awesome today, which is offering up some testimonies. So the Bible tells us that we overcame Satan by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of our testimony. So it's always important for us to be able to share when the Lord does something good for us so we can offer a source of encouragement to other people who might be going through the same stuff. And today I just really want to testify of the Lord's goodness and his favor. And I really just want to thank God also for obedience because nine days, exactly nine days ago in our weekly prayer call, the upper room, I think it was uh, episode 16. It was prophetic declarations over dry bones in our lives. I remember sharing a, a video two days prior to that prayer call. And um, in that video, I was sharing with you guys how I had tried to make that video six times. Actually, it was really eight times. And um, the enemy kept interrupting that video. And I knew instantly that it was probably because God was going to do something really great in that prayer call. And so that is exactly what I would love to report to you guys today. Okay. Now, earlier this morning, I, I woke up thinking about a, a friend of mine that I hadn't heard from in quite some time. And um, just to give you a little bit of the backstory, exactly, I think it was last Wednesday, when I was up to pray at three in the morning, the Lord brought this friend to my mind. And I had a vision of this friend and they were in a hospital bed. They were in bed and they were unresponsive. They were just like that and i began to pray for them in that midnight in that 3 a.m hour i began to pray and the prayer that i was praying was actually i was uttering out those prophetic declarations this was after our prayer call by the way on prophetic declarations so i began to pray and speak life over this individual i began to pray prophetically over this individual as the holy spirit led and just command every cell in that body to come to life, to revive, to resurrect. I speak, I spoke Ezekiel 37 upon this individual's life. And so that was that. I tried to call them. They weren't picking up the phone. I didn't quite know what was going on. And so very early this morning when I woke up, um, this individual came to my mind again. And I'm like, I wonder how this person is doing. And so literally about an hour later this individual reached out to me and said oh i'm so sorry i've been off the grid but i've actually really been very ill and um it was so bad that i almost died and uh you know so i was actually quite shocked by that and then i shared with them that i'd actually been praying for them because the lord had put them in my mind at about 3 a.m. the week before on a Wednesday when I woke up to pray and I shared with this friend what I had been praying and how I had been praying and this friend said oh my gosh the same things that you were praying the, the you know speaking over the dry bones on my body and, and asking every cell to come to life that was what my intercessory prayer team was praying over me that is what my church was praying over me now of course I didn't know any of this stuff and so I was quite amazed by that, by that. And I knew it wasn't a coincidence. And so I said, you know, literally two weeks ago in our prayer call, the Lord had led me to pray, to speak prophetic declarations over dry bones. And as he was leading me to, 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 to share this with the ministry and with the intercessors that come on Friday, um, I had a vision and in the vision, what I saw, and you can go back to reference the video because it is there, was a woman who was wearing a shawl on her head and she was holding a picture of her child and she was trusting the Lord for healing for something. And so she said to me that actually, actually it was the other way around. She told me that um, her mom had actually gone to church to pray and she had carried a picture of, of her to go and pray um, in church over her. And that was when the Holy Spirit brought that to my memory that as I was driving in the car 
he had brought to my he had brought to me and given me this vision of a woman so i said i actually funny that you say that because i had a vision right before this prayer and prophetic declarations that there was this woman who was like you know holding a picture and she was like praying for healing and the, but the woman that i saw in my vision was actually wearing a headdress and she said yes my mom would actually be wearing a headdress because when she does go to church she wears a headdress and so i was completely blown away by this because i knew then in that specific moment that wow god is really talking to me of course God talks to me. He talks to me usually in dreams, but sometimes when I have these visions, I do take them seriously. But it was good to know or to receive that confirmation from somebody else that actually the Lord was speaking. But the reason I'm sharing this testimony with you is, so first and foremost, my friend is on the mend. She is out of being in that gray zone of being close to expiring. Um, so we give God all the praise and we give God all the glory but I'm here, importantly, to add you guys that if you didn't attend that prayer call, because the Lord, after showing me that vision of that woman with a headdress, holding a picture and trusting God for healing, the words that came through were miracle service. And so I know for a fact that uttering those prophetic declarations as instructed divinely by the Lord has the power to actually make you well. So I'd like to encourage you, if you know anybody who is sick, if you know anybody who is going through dry areas in their lives, in the in terms of relationships, in terms of marriage, in terms of fruit of the womb, in terms of sickness, those were the things that we prayed for. Um, in terms of, I don't think we prayed for over poverty, but those were the, the key areas please go back and watch that video please go back and share that video with as many people as you can that need it because there is a special anointing on that video because the lord did indicate that it would be a miracle service and that things would happen and now we have a report and now we have testimonies of the lord literally bringing someone from the brink of death back to being alive because they were unresponsive they were on the way to the next world i just want to give god all the praise i want to give god all the glory not because of the things that he showed me but because he is merciful and he is kind and i want to encourage you guys out there i've been saying this for weeks but i'm gonna say it again it's not about the miracles it's not about the prophecies it's not about the supernatural God is looking in this hour for people who are going to stand in the gap. People who are going to want to draw close to him. People who are going to want to seek his face. But also people who are going to want to intercede. People don't like interceding because they don't like praying. They would rather outsource their prayer life to somebody else to pray for them. They would rather be involved with miracles, signs, and wonders. But actually, even in the Bible, I believe it's in the book of Isaiah, the Lord said that, lo and behold, he looked and he was surprised to see that there was no one in the land of Israel that was available to intercede on behalf of the land. Intercession is kind of like being a teacher in the sense that teaching is a thankless job. You know, teachers get underpaid and yet they're responsible for cultivating the minds of young people you know, they have a very important role that they play, but yet they're underlooked in society. It's the same thing with intercession. When people get on their knees and pray and intercede for the land, intercede for their families, intercede absolutely for their leaders, these are things that go on behind the scene that nobody sees, okay? And even when people see people interceding, it's one of those things that is not glamorous, that doesn't bring you glory. But the glory is not meant to go to us. The glory is meant to go to God. And God in this moment, in this end time moment, is looking for people that will stand in the gap for others, for other lost souls. So why don't you challenge yourself today to join a prayer group? Or why don't you challenge yourself today? To begin to have a consistent prayer life, whether it's 10 minutes, 15 minutes, every day spending that time with God in prayer, interceding, not only asking God for your needs, but remembering others as the Lord puts remembrance in your mind to pray for others. 
yes it is thankless yes it is not glamorous nobody really sees and you know but the reality is that when we pray no prayers are fruitless every prayer has an impact in the spiritual so you may not see the impact of your prayers you may not always hear people come back and testify about what the lord has done by reason of your prayers but it doesn't mean that things are not happening in the supernatural realm so i'd like to encourage you to begin to pray and ask the Holy Spirit to teach you how to pray if you feel like you don't know how to pray. Because prayer is what is going to push us through to the next level in these end times. I wanted to share this testimony with you along with another testimony that happened around the same time two weeks ago where I had a minor little accident, nothing crazy, not a car accident or anything, but I twisted my kneecap was twisted and so it was really hurting. And <clears throat> for about three days, my, my left knee was hurting really badly. I could walk, but walking up the stairs or coming down the stairs because putting pressure on that knee was really, really painful. And so in one of those moments when I woke up to pray at three in the morning, I remember, I just, I was like, what? why? Why am I really going through a knee pain and a shoulder pain at the same time um, when my father is the, the healer of healers? And so I remember praying and after praying, I was healed instantly. That pain was gone and that pain never returned. My shoulder pain was gone. My knee pain was gone supernaturally and instantly so god still heals today he is the same yesterday today tomorrow forever his word is forever established there is no turning with thee let every man be a liar and god be held true so i'm sharing these healing testimonies with you to let you know that it doesn't matter what the condition is my god the everlasting God, the spirit of the living God, the Alpha or Omega, the creator of the universe, the one who created your body is the one who can make it well. And so you should put your faith and your trust in him. Cry out to him and ask him to heal you and he will. I love you guys. I should have made a video, Life is Spiritual, and we we're gonna be talking about soul ties. That video should have dropped today, but it will not because I really wanted to share this testimony because testimonies are equally important. But I do promise you that that video will be coming up this week, very soon in the upper room. I mean, not in the upper room, in, um, in this very channel. I love you guys. Take care and I'll see you soon. Shalom.